today on BAD. ETA in three minutes, Walter. What are we flying into? A real mess, Ben. Project Crystal got hit about 0100 hours this morning by some kind of alien assault team. But I think we got lucky. It looks like our EBE escaped that alien assault, but where she is and how she's doing is anybody's guess. Find her, Ben. Get her back to her mothership. I feel that she's not doing well. I don't know if I can help her. We've got bogeys on our tail. You want a piece of this? Come and get it. It is modern day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth. Now, they move among us. Only one top secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by Squadron Leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, Special Agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tenganu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. I'm Amanda Faulkner, biological doctor of alien life forms for BAD. It's my job to understand all life on this planet and beyond. Close personal contact with an EBE always has a profound effect on a person's life. That's what happened to Special Agent Shane Sanderson the day he encountered an EBE. That's extraterrestrial biological entity. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. That mission... That encounter is one you'll forever remember. We've tried everything, Stitch. Nothing's working. We can't stabilize the extraterrestrial biological entity's temperature. Earth's just too warm for her. Bob, the alien intercept craft's coming in less than 12 hours. Now, if the EBE is not at the rendezvous site on time... What'll they do to our little informational exchange program if something happens to their first ambassador? Forget what they'll do to the program. What'll they do to the planet? <laughs> About eight hours ago, we noticed the first temperature spike. We've been going nuts ever since trying to cool things off. You have no idea what she's shown us in just three days. Now, what if we rig a hyperbaric chamber with liquid nitrogen? That might buy us some time here. Oh! oh, oh. Right, look out! Hey, out of the way! Dr. Faulkner. Ben. 
Project Crystal got hit about, oh, 100 hours this morning by some kind of close encounter level three alien assault team. But I think we got lucky. It looks like our EBE escaped that alien assault, but where she is and how she's doing is anybody's guess. I'm feeding you her bio data and last known coordinates. But there's a time factor here, Ben. Our friend must rendezvous with her mothership in six hours. Now, what about the alien assault team? Why are they after the EBE? Well, there's a group on her planet who will go to extremes to keep their science and technology to themselves. But we counted three of them in this morning's attack. Three of them did this kind of damage to the lab? Man. Find her, Ben. Get her back to her mothership. I'll owe you. <laughs> you already owe me. Big time. Did Stitch say the EBE is a she? And so it began, the hunt for an EBE. Our race against time and three evil alien predators. Their objective to take her life. Team 22Zs to preserve it. If they failed and did not get her back to the mothership, the consequences would be dire for her and for the Earth. Little did any of us know what her return would mean for Special Agent Shane Sanderson. So we find our target before they find us. All clear here, Sarge. Weird animal tracks. All vehicles stop. Keep an eye out. The alien assault team wants the EBE as much as we do. Maybe more. Our EBE knows what she's doing. She made it harder for the assault team to track her. I'm sensing something. In the woods. It's not a wolf! Sarge is right! It's our alien! The EBE! Firambo Roche Kurahi! Don't lose the drum. Put fast. The whole is wrong. We must be careful. I sense fear and distrust from our alien friend. Are you crazy? It's 14 degrees out here. Would you trust a giant walking parka? Sarge, I'm... I'm in her mind. I can see through her eyes. Ah! Oh! Shane, you all right? Yes, yeah, Sarge. Give me a sec. I think... I feel that she's not doing well. I sense... weakness. I I'm worried, Sarge. I don't know if I can help her. Let's go, team. Special Agent Sanderson, you're the life science expert. Keep her alive. That's an order. Now move out. Trot orders. Confirmed on my screens. Looks like that assault team's picked up our scent. Taylor, Tranganu, cover the rear. Marcus, you're on point. We'll handle rear coverage. Marcus, you get the ambassador to the mothership. I'm on it, Sarge. Man, I wish I knew what I was doing here. I wish I knew how to help you. I, I don't even know what to call you. Do I sound like a moth or a bug to you? I must make about as much sense. Oh, oh. You okay back there, Sandman? Oh, 
Yeah, I'm fine. Marcus, you have no idea what I've just seen. Where I've just been. You are hurt. No, no, it's just a scratch. Hey, you understand English? I understand you. I hear you in my head. Authentic telepathic communication between species. I can't believe this is happening. What? I don't hear anything. I am a scientist, like you, Shane. You know my name? <laughs> of course you would. You can reach inside my head. What... what do I call you? What's your name? Name? I am a Project Crystal. Okay, then. I'll call you Crystal Eve. Nice to meet you. Are you talking to yourself back there, Sandman? You are hurt. I don't understand. If you can heal me, why are you so weak? Your physiology is primitive, easy to heal. Ours is complicated. Go! Go! Gotcha, Sarge. Sanderson, the blasters! I'm way ahead of you. in the battle claw. Go! I have to stabilize Marcus. You have to take her to the rendezvous site. Whatever can be done for Marcus, I can do it. That's an order. Hey, man. I'll buy the notches when you get back to the base. Oh, what? What happened? Didn't I just get... Clobbered by a ton of rocks? Crystal is a natural healer, a sort of organic, empathetic power. But she sacrifices her own strength. Sarge? Get her to the site. Keep your headset open. Go! We'll follow on foot. Thanks, Sarge. Marcus, ready to move out? Uh, yes, yeah, Sarge. Hey, didn't I just get hit by a ton of rocks? Ugh! Moose, you okay? Yeah, if my ears will quit ringing. Sarge, I got Moose. Good work. Sanderson's got the EBE with him in the battle claw. We've got to keep those bug eyes off his backside. We're moving, Sarge. You know, case, something's hot at three o'clock. For Red Flag 5, execute! Hey! Over here, heat for brains! Ah. Elemental Morph! Okay. Good work. Sanderson, you copy that? Yes, Sarge. 
I'm just up to an old logging bridge. If I cut across there, I can make it to King's Peak and buy us some time. Do it, if Dr. Faulkner is right. That leaves us with two more bug eyes out here. We've been hit! Oh, oh. We're going over! Crystal, hang on! Oh, I can't control it! Oh. Marcus, I want cover fire over the river! Coming right up, Sarge. Shane, he's alive. He's got to get out of that Parker, or he's going to freeze solid. That water is ice cold. Sarge, he's not responding to his headset. The fall, the water, or something must have shorted it out. He's got to get her to the pickup site. Break out your snowboards. Come on. Let's go, team. <coughs> I owe you my life, Crystal. You saved me. As you saved me. Why take off your coat? Are you warm? <laughs> it's soaked. It won't help me anymore. I can only heal living things. I'm fine. But you... I prefer the cold. Half an hour to rendezvous. Sorry, Sarge. I'm not picking up Sanderson, Crystal, an alien, anything. They could be near the pickup site. Might be some magnetic field interference. I still calculate one double jawhead out here somewhere. We have to find it before it finds Sanders. We made it, Crystal. We're here. Why are you slow? Uh, I... I'm kind of chilly. Don't worry, I'll be fine. You are dishonest. You are dying. No, Crystal! Don't! You need your strength. You have to be well. Shane. No, Crystal. No! 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 no. Show up already! Ultraveers. Dibs on a window seat. Check out what a few million dollars gets done in two weeks, huh? I've seen your on-site medical record chip. I know what happened. 
I just can't believe it. You saying I'm certified for service? <laughs> You're certified for the Olympics. You got lucky out there, Special Agent Marcus. Real lucky. Yo, Sandman. Come on. Let's check out the new wings. I'll be there in a sec. And so it ends. But for Shane and Crystal, it's only the beginning. Though light years apart, they now share a bond that transcends time and space. Stand ready, Special Agent Sanderson, for she will return. And never forget, you are a part of BAD, the Bureau of Alien Detectors. <laughs>